Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new duplication glitch. And today I'm going to be showing you a duplication glitch where you can duplicate any item in the game as long as you have it in your survival world. Obviously you could spawn it in with the previous glitch, but this glitch is a little bit better because the previous glitch there was a chance of it erasing your world or your hard drive like Minecraft saves going corrupt, whereas this glitch doesn't involve that. Now last time we did hit 18,000 subscribers, so I'm bringing you this glitch. Next time, if we can hit 20,000 subscribers, I'll bring you guys the ultimate duplication glitch. But obviously, I'm going to bring it out after the patch, because if I bring it out before the patch and we hit 20,000 subscribers, they'll most likely put it in the patch and patch it. So if I bring it out after the patch, therefore, they'll have to do some more work in the studio, and they won't want to, so the glitch will be out for a while. So that's why we're uh, going to be aiming to do that. That's going to be my aim with that duplication glitch. So if we hit 20,000 subscribers, I will bring up the duplication glitch for you guys on the day one of the patch. Just make sure you go and do that. That would be really awesome. Now, to get this glitch to work, it's a little different to the others. Thanks to my friend Fallout Tech Boy, he actually helped me manage to find this glitch. And thanks to him, we have managed to try and get this glitch to work. So for this glitch to work, obviously, you need to be in survival. It's pretty easy to do. You're going to need a block of TNT, a chest, and a block of redstone. Not too difficult. That's really what you're going to need for this glitch to work. Then you get your chosen items of duplication. You can see in my inventory, I'm duplicating gunpowder because if you think about it you're going to need TNT pair duplication glitch on this and if you duplicate gunpowder you're going to have endless TNT because you're going to be able to keep crafting TNT which would be very handy if you are going to do this glitch a lot which I do recommend because it is by far one of my favourite glitches in Minecraft so far again we are in TU46 right now so uh it's pretty interesting. This glitch has been working for a while in the previous two years, but I've just never shown it to you guys. Uh, I just didn't want it. I just thought I'd keep it for a bit and wait for the right moment. And this is the right moment. A lot of people, you are asking for it. So why not bring it for you guys? So again, you unfortunately are not going to be able to do this on Xbox 360 or Xbox One. Uh, sorry, Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. You can do this on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And what you're going to want to do is like I'm doing on screen right now, set down the uh, crafting bench and the redstone. Then you want to disable the autosave and then make sure you've disabled it, and you want to re-enable it. So make sure you do that. If you've already got autosave turned off, just turn it on. Uh, but if you've already got it turned on, turn it off, and then turn it back on. It's a little weird, but just remember to do that. I will have a step-by-step -step guide if you guys request it in the comment section below. Now, what you want to do is you want to put your chosen items into the chest to duplicate, and then you'll place down the TNT here, and as you place down the TNT, you're going to have to back out and head to your dashboard as fast as you can and click quit. For this demonstration here on screen that I've just done there, I'm just showing you guys what happens if you don't do it. And if you don't do it correctly, you will not get your items, which is a big shame. You can see me here repeating the duplication glitch once again. Remember to turn off your save and then re-enable auto save. Pretty easy to do. Put your chosen items in here and you have to go very quick at this stage now. You've got to be as fast as you can. So get ready to do this. Get Make sure your world's in survival, obviously. And uh, it's loading, it's loading. Here you go, get ready. And you quit just before it explodes, just there. Now, it is pretty hard. So it does take a little bit of time to get your timing. It'll be even harder on PlayStation because I believe the quit screen is slightly different and you can't actually see the TNT in the background. I believe the TNT, though, takes five seconds to explode. So you've got roughly about the right time. I counted it in my in my fast counting. I got it about nine seconds. But it's like one, two, three, four, rather than one second, two second. You know what I mean? So yeah, we'll see if the glitches work this time. Previously, obviously, we were just showing it you. And basically, once you've done that, you, uh, like I said, you quit the application. You'll load up your world again. And the duplication glitch should have worked. Again, I will go over this duplication glitch again so you guys can understand it a little bit better. But another thing that I do recommend doing is do duplicate your save. Just in case you do manage to blow up a lot of things and it doesn't go right for you, uh, you will lose a few things but it will get a lot of explosions but yeah you can see on screen right here it has worked all the stuff has exploded as you can see it's all around us and then if you open the chest the item should still be in the chest and there you are so the duplication glitch has clearly worked that's what makes the duplication glitch awesome that's why i recommend trying it uh, obviously duplicate your save before you try it just so you can get a little bit more practice at it but it's not only just little items like that Obviously, you can only do it with your inventory. That's one key thing. The inventory, the single box is easy. You can just do it with your inventory. However, if you want to do more than that, you can do that. I'll demonstrate that in this video coming up right now, this clip that I did it with. This isn't too difficult to do. Uh, with this, actually, if you are wondering, most of my duplication glitches I do do live, but because I was do I attempted this four times doing it live, and every time I attempted it live, I just couldn't get it to work. So I just I gave up attempting it live, and again, I attempted it off camera and just kept trying and trying until I got it both to work. And once I got the hang of it, I did it. But I did try recording it once I got the hang of it and it just didn't work. So I'm doing a commentary over the top of the video if you are wondering for that aspect. And I don't usually do duplication glitch videos like this. But if you don't believe me, just don't believe me. There'll always be that person in the comment section saying it doesn't work. It does work. Try it out. <coughs> come, come back to this video and say that it has worked because I know it works because you guys can see it right now. I haven't edited any of this video apart from one transition. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was just at the start of the video. 
and anyway so yeah the whole video is just one big sequence again I'm doing a duplication to show you guys exactly how to do it it's pretty easy to do you just gotta remember to turn off your save turn it back on and once you're ready this is the hard bit you gotta get your timing correct on here get to the dashboard get ready to quit and boom so I quit just before it exploded that's what you're gonna want to do on your saves it's hard to get on PlayStation I believe but it is possible so do keep practicing don't just give up because you have missed it I know you can do it it's just gonna take you a little bit of time just keep practicing don't give up it's a very nice duplication glitch this is so easy to do you just turn on auto save uh, make sure it's if it's already on turn it off then turn it on like I said then put your items in the chest set down the TNT with the redstone block next to it as soon as the TNT is placed exit the application quit application load the world back up and it'll all be there hopefully all your duplicate stuff like we're doing right now as we load the world back up let's see if the stuff has been duplicated and what's going to be really good i'm going to show you guys how to duplicate any item in the entire game in which you want to duplicate which is really awesome if you guys want to duplicate any item at all you can do that like multiple of them like obviously you can see i'm duping elytras there but i know you guys can duplicate absolutely double chests full of diamond blocks which i'm going to demonstrate in a minute so as you can see we're collecting these items that's just another demonstration of the basic one pretty easy to do not too difficult at all but what's really awesome about this glitch is that you can duplicate two double chests and like i said while we're waiting for me to get over to there if we do hit 20,000 subscribers before the new update i will bring out a duplication glitch on the day of the update which would be absolutely amazing obviously let's try and hit a thousand likes on this video as well which shouldn't be too difficult but with a little bit of help i know we can do it uh I always seem to get weird dings in the backgrounds. You might have heard that then. It's my computer. It always seems to do it all the time. So let's demonstrate on how we're going to do this. So we're going to grab our TNT and our redstone. I uh, don't need that uh, the lever. But obviously on your saves, you guys are probably going to have loads of chests full of uh, redstone blocks and TNT ready for this. Now obviously you're probably not going to have these that many diamonds. But if you do manage to have even just stacks of diamonds, normal diamonds, this is how you do the glitch. Now this is a little different to the other glitches. You can see I'm dropping the items on the floor down here. There's a limit to how many entities you can have on the floor in a world. And that stops the glitch from 100% working. But it still does work, this glitch. Now I've just got to grab my TNT. I don't know what I did with my TNT. Just give me one second. But yeah, like I said, this glitch is a lot easier to do. And it's not too difficult at all. You can see we've got double chest of it. And what you're going to want to do is you want to grab half of the chest. So first, you turn off your autosave. Then re-enable your autosave like I'm doing right now. That's step one. Then step two, you're going to access one of the chests. You're going to take all the diamond blocks out of the chest, just like I'm doing on screen right now. All the Half the diamond blocks out of the chest like I'm doing. Not all the chests, just half of the chest, exactly half. You can do this with any block in the game, by the way. And it doesn't have to be a double chest. It can just be one chest if you want to. Uh, so as I take them out of the uh, chest, like I said, you disable autosave and then re-enable it again, like I'm doing on screen right now. Uh, so there you go, it re-enables the autosave. Then you add the items back into the chest, like I'm doing simply like this. This is the best way of doing it anyway. This is what worked best for me. There are other ways you can do this, like with the different order you do the saves and the stuff. But if you do it this way, it should work. So now we're ready to go. You're basically ready to duplicate. So you press that button in there, exit, and get ready to quit. You've got to get that timing correct. So I just got it just before I exploded. I counted it in my head. And as we load the world back up, with a little bit of luck, both of them chests should have exploded. And there should be loads and loads of diamonds on the floor. And also, the chest should remain there. If you've done this wrong, you'll notice that the chest has exploded. And there isn't a chest remaining there. And there's a big hole in your world. That's why I do recommend duplicating your save. Do make sure to do that just for the safety side of stuff if you are playing on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Unfortunately, like I said... This ain't going to work as well on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. But you can give it a try. Now, Wii U, I'm not 100% sure if that's got an autosave feature. You guys will have to comment that down below. So as we reload up the world, as you can see on screen, we've got tons of diamonds duplicated. And because there's a limit to the amount of entities, so you can see the dirt around and stuff like that, we have a limit to how many diamonds you can actually duplicate. You don't exactly always duplicate both of the double chests. You'll notice when I collect all these diamonds up, I've only actually got one chest full of diamonds that I can actually duplicate. Which is a lot of diamonds, obviously, but it's just not enough. Again, you could do this with absolutely anything you wanted. You could do it with stone, coal, lapis, redstone, TNT, if you had enough of it. You could do absolutely anything you'd like to duplicate. And again, I do recommend duplicating gunpowder and things like that and sand 
especially because that's what creates TNT and that's what's going to get this glitch to work for you guys. Duplicate redstone, gunpowder and sand. Once you've got enough of that using this glitch, you'll have enough to do this glitch as many times as you want. And you'll be able to duplicate endless elytras or elytras, however you want to pronounce it, for your tribe or team, whatever you want to call them. You can duplicate as much as you want and have endless elytras flying around the entire world, which would be awesome if everyone in your server or game had an elytra, which would be insane because you wouldn't have to fight the ender dragon so many times. You'll need to get it once duplicate it and you'll have loads of it so again i do recommend doing this the reason i do show these duplication glitch videos is for all your hardcore survival players out there who just don't want to go in creative because they don't want to lose their leaderboards as you can see we've managed to get enough diamonds here just to fill this chest uh so that's really awesome getting all these diamonds from this duplication glitch especially really good and you can see that the entities there have actually clogged us up like when we uh when i threw all the things down into the pit over there that clogged up the entities and when i also threw flew uh, <laughs> when i also threw down uh, some of the dirt after the explosion that also caught i didn't throw that down but the explosion caused it is that's what also causes the entities to not 100% load in. But you can see it did work, and we did manage to duplicate one chest, one entire whole chest. So it's really awesome. I do recommend trying out this glitch. It's not too difficult to do. If you're having any difficulties with my explanation or anything like that, just comment down below, and hopefully I'll bring out a nice little guide for you guys in words. And if that is too difficult for you guys, again, I'll probably repeat the video, do it again, do like a part two to it. I've done that previously with some duplication glitches, which need a little bit more support added to them. Uh, so this looks like it's probably going to be aiming that way because it is quite a difficult duplication glitch in my opinion especially from my experience i've had a lot of experience trying it and i just unfortunately just can't get it to work all the time so again i'll probably do a part two to this video if some of you are struggling don't forget if we hit 20,000 subscribers and a thousand likes in this video i'll be bringing out the super duplication glitch after the uh bug fix is released like i said which would be really awesome to see you guys using that it's an amazing duplication glitch and i highly recommend checking it out when it comes out again this one has got nothing wrong with it this is an awesome duplication glitch as well i definitely recommend doing it it's not difficult at all all you need is a chest tnt and a redstone block or a redstone torch whatever you want to use to light the tnt and then whatever you want to duplicate in the chest just remember to always duplicate your save on this occasion because you could end up blowing some stuff up which you don't want to blow up unless you build like an area which you could do this and if you've got loads of tnt feel free to not duplicate your save but if you're limited for the amount of resources you've got do duplicate your save it really will help you guys out so hope you guys have enjoyed this video again you can duplicate anything you like uh, as you can see on screen right now i'm just duplicating some armor you can duplicate absolutely anything like i said hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and uh, just like I'm doing there, placing down our TNT in, our dirt, instead of TNT, that just demonstrates exactly how it works. It's pretty easy. Uh, just imagine that dirt was TNT. That's exactly how it works. You just go over to there, press the start button, and quit application. If you're wondering which button it is, when you if you look at your Xbox controller, the one with the three lines on it, press that in, and that causes the uh, screen to do that quit application thing. Once you press the middle button and you press that, uh, the three lines, and there you go, you get that screen there on screen. So it's not too difficult at all. You should be able to do that. Uh, I managed to do it pretty quickly. It took me a few attempts. It took me about 15 minutes. So don't just suddenly go, oh, it's not working. It does work. Give it a little bit of time. Give it a little bit of practice. And you guys will be able to do this. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat. Signing out.